Good evening. Good evening and welcome to the 2014 Hopkins Raspberry Festival Fashion Show. My name is Diana Doctor. I'm a royalty parent. Ninety-nine. This and the 2013 Hopkins Raspberry Festival Princess Jimmy Lynn Rouse. I will be your host for this evening's festivities along with Olivia Gallagher. She is the 2007-2008 Junior Princess. Tonight, you will be able to meet eight of our young lady candidates for the 2014 year, as well as some amazing outfits from the Limited. Each of the girls also got their hair done and their makeup done. Macy Salon did their hair and Sephora did their makeup. We cannot thank those people enough. Those volunteers from the stores for their helpfulness and their support for the fashion show and supporting the Hopkins Raspberry Festival. Please visit them and support their business as well. A very special thank you to Kate from the Ridgedale Mall for all her help with this event this evening. We will also be introducing some of those terrific juniors as well. They each came with something that they like to wear or like that they like to do. You will be meeting all 17 of them throughout the event. Without further ado, let's start with our first candidate. <laughs> Kia Adams. Kia is sponsored by Tuttle's Bowling. Kia is a daughter to Aisha So and is 19 years old and will be a sophomore at Hamline University this coming fall. She will be continuing her undergraduate career studying forensic anthropology with minors in biology and criminal justice. Kia is wearing this classic dress that invites wonderlust and adventure. Just pull it on and go. A vibrant print plays up to the fun on this flirty dress. She has it completed with a black belt and a double strand curved necklace. Thank you, Kia. Next, we have Alyssa Hornbuckle. Alyssa is daughter to Heather and Jason Hornbuckle. She will be using her, she will be in her senior year of high school studying at Normandale through the PSEO program. She would like to continue her education at the University of Minnesota, majoring in marketing or business management. Alyssa is wearing a printed tassel maxi dress along with a pink skinny belt with a navy cardigan as an easy cover-up. You'll notice this vibrant print has a touch of the Bohemia inspiration. Thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> Next up, we have Ashling Huras. Ashling is a, sponsored by Hopkins Auto Body. Ashling is Stephen and Bonnie Huras' daughter. She will be continuing her cer certification as a lab technician at LensCrafters this fall while also completing her generals at the Normandale. Ashling starts off her outfit with a high waist linen trousers, pants, and a coral. This 3 4 length sleeve top is a lightweight khaki and white striped heather knit. The double bow in the back sweetens the deal. She also has a beautiful gold necklace and a purse. Thank you, Ashling. Next up is McKenna Moe. McKenna is sponsored by Citizens Independent Bank. McKenna is daughter to Amy and Chris Moe and will be a senior at Hopkins High School this fall and is already looking forward to college next year. She's keeping an open mind on different areas of study, but majoring in biological scientists and studying pre-med to come, become a nurse is what interests her the most. McKenna is in a top that has a halter neck with a button front keyhole in a vibrant paisley print. Wearing the skinny jeans and a white twill weave denim. She is carrying a light wet, a lightweight open front cardigan sweater in navy and a lot of arm candy. Thank you, McKenna. Now we'd like to bring up some juniors and Olivia is going to ask each junior a question as they come up. First, we'll have Afton Lawrence. Afton is a third grader this fall at Eisenhower Elementary School. Afton's favorite game is chess because you get to strike out people. 
Also, her favorite thing in the summer is to play squirt gun because you can get all wet and get others all wet. Hi, Afton. Hi. If you, if a genie could give you one wish, what would it be? Kittens. Why is that? Because I like cats a lot and kittens like are really cute to me. Oh, they're cute to me too. Next up is Bailey Madsen. Bailey is a second grader this fall at Clear Springs Elementary School. Bailey would like to be a teacher when she grows up because she loves school. Also, Bailey's favorite game is Candyland because it has candy. Hi, Bailey. Hi. I like your, I like your dress. Is that dress? Um, no, it's just pants and a, and a shirt. Oh, well, it's really cute. Thank you. <laughs> what is your favorite superhero and why? Do you like Batman or Thor or just not into superheroes? I don't really like them, but if I did, I would say Batman. Oh, I would say that too. <laughs> would you get, like to give a wave? Next up, we have Chloe Hoff. Chloe would like to be a junior or a queen princess because she would love to be a part of the festival and she would really love to ride on a float. Chloe also has done some silly things like going on a stage as a volunteer and had to throw Mickey Mouse toys in a bowl on top of my dad's head for a Radio Disney contest. Unfortunately, they did not win. Hi Chloe, I love your dress. Thanks. What is your favorite meal to eat? Um, I think maybe pizza or mac and cheese. Do you help make it? Sometimes. That's cool. Next we have Dakota and Rose Kuntz. Dakota's favorite color is red because red is the color of love. Also, Dakota would like to be a junior queen or princess because it will be fun learning experience for me and she saw the red berry queen at the enhanced dance and would love to be her. Hi Dakota, are you a dancer? Uh-huh. What do you, how do you dance? Do you do tap? I do both. That's so cool. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would it be and why? Well, I only have a cat, but I wish I had a mommy cat and kittens. Well, that's cute. <laughs> would you like to give a walk and wave? Thank you to our first four juniors. Now we'll get back to some casual dresses by our young ladies. We'll start with Sally Meyer. Sally is the, sponsored by the Main Street Foundation. Sally Meyer, the daughter of Dan and Catherine Meyer, will be a 21-year-old senior at St. Olaf College this coming fall. She will be getting her degree in nursing where she hopes to work in the cities as a registered nurse. She is excited to be a candidate. Sally is wearing a blue blouse with a white cami underneath. This block of color with its preppy style easily tucks into a, her striped box pleat miniskirt for an impeccable finish with a chestnut purse and a gold arm candy. Thank you, Sally. <laughs> Next up is Indigo Upton, sponsored by Heart Springs Bridal. Indigo is the daughter of Angela and Lynn Anderson and Marcus Upton. She is a re recent graduate from Rain Street School of Performing Arts. She plans on attending a four-year university this coming fall where she pursues her passion for music. She will re be working as a personal care assistant as well. Indigo is wearing a print draw. This print draws the eye through a melody of complementary colors. Glide through your day in a comfortable maxi dress with a stylus swish. Indigo has added a braided skinny black belt, a versatile black v-neck white cardigan. 
with some gold tome and arm candy. Thank you, Indigo. Next up is Robin Valdez. She is sponsored by American Legion Post 320. Robin is the daughter to Gilbert and Vanessa Valdez. She is a 17-year-old senior at Hopkins High School in the fall, and she plans on majoring in pre-med and then continuing to become a doctor. Robin plans to glam it up the office with a lovely patterned skirt. Pair this skirt with a classic cream blouse, ooh, and a slanted, oh, this is the wrong one. Hang on a second. All right, sorry, Robin, we got your other outfit. Robin has chosen a tasteful boat neck dress that is perfect with a classy lace print. This square back dips down to add a bit of playfulness. Thank you, Robin. Oh. And the last for our casuals is Junie Varen. She's sponsored by Hopkins Elk. Junie is the daughter of Paul and Jason Varen and will be studying at the University of Minnesota in the PSEO program. She wants then to go to the University of Southern California where she may study politics, pharmacy, or finance. Junie is wearing a chevron striped strapless maxi dress in coral. Trendy chevrons have a sweet look in this coral, color coral. She has added a denim jacket with some gold bracelets. Thank you, Junie. Now we'll start back with some juniors. Our next junior up is Daniel Vogel. Daniel attends Glen Lake Elementary and will be, I'm not sure what grade this fall. He loves to play Mario Kart because you get to drive fast 90 miles per an hour, in fact. He also wants to be a police officer because then he can help people put bad guys in jail. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Do you like Batman? Yeah. Yeah. I do too. If you could be invisible for one day, what would you like to do? I would like to play. You would like to what? Play? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I would do to it too. Do you want to give a wave? Thank you, Daniel. Next, we have Dylan Norrid. Dylan goes to Ixing Academy where she grows up, she wants to be an Olympic gymnast because gymnastics is her favorite sport. Okay. Hi, Dylan. Hi. What is your favorite thing to do in the summer and why? Um, go swimming and play outside. Yeah, I do like that too. I like your dress. Thank you. Yeah, it's very pretty. Wanna walk? Next, we have Eloise van der Hagen. Eloise's favorite color is gold because it is the color of royalty. In the fall, Eloise will be a first grader at Ixing, Ixing Academy. The silliest thing Eloise has ever done is getting a giant Play-Doh can stuck on her head. Hi, Eloise. <laughs> I like your hair. It's very pretty. Thank you. Okay. What would you like to do on your next birthday if you could do anything you wanted? Have a sleepover. Have a sleepover? Oh my gosh, I love sleepovers. Next we have Faith Burnett. When Faith grows up, she would like to be a doctor because she wants to help her grandma. Also, what Faith likes about school is Spanish because you can learn in two ways. Hi, Faith. I love your dress. It's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Do you like to play video games? If so, which ones? Do you like to play video games? No. I, I don't either. But it's okay. Do you like to play a game outside? What games do you like to play? I like to play um, hide and go seek. 
hide and go seek. That's great. And thank you to those four juniors. Now we'd like to get back to our young ladies, and this time they'll be in a business outfit that they picked out. We'll start again with Kia Adams. Kia wants to be a candidate because she loves the confidence and experience the program gives young women. She also wants to promote volunteerism in young adults and better herself as a person and a leader. Kia is in a blue sleeveless dress that has a lightweight feel and effortlessly coordinates with accessories and a jacket for styling possibilities, like this beige colored blazer with a tan belt and a simple and elegant teardrop necklace. Thank you, Kia. <laughs> Next up, we have Alyssa Hornbuckle. Alyssa wants to be a, a candidate because she would like to meet new people and prove herself as a person. Alyssa is wearing a white cami layered by a lace yoke tie front top, topped off with a khaki colored slanted pocket jacket, a gold necklace, an exact stretch zip pocket ankle in the navy color. Thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> Next up is Ashling Hiras. Ashley wants to be a candidate because she would love to give back to the city that gave her so much and taught her what it truly means to be a neighbor. Ashling is wearing the Drew Boy boot cut pants in a gray. She has a layering effect with a white cami and a blouse with a modern look with a metal closure detail at the neckline and a navy blazer to top it all. Thank you, Ashling. <laughs> Next up, we have McKenna Moe. McKenna wants to be a candidate because the opportunity to grow as an individual, meet new people, and step out of her comfort zone. McKenna has a wide waistband pencil skirt in black. That goes so well with this white long tank top and this colorful one button blazer in the mint green. She really is raising the fashion bar. Thank you, McKenna. All right, Olivia, I think we should do some more juniors? All right, let's bring out Gwen Lambert. Gwen, who likes to be called Gwen, will be second grader at Eagle Ridge Academy. When Gwendolyn grows up, she would like to be a cupcake baker because it is fun to eat them and sell them. Hi, Gwen. Hello. I like your outfit. Do you like dancing or something? Yeah. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? And who would you like to take with you? If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would like If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would like to go to Alaska and I would like to take my mom with me. That's great. <laughs> Next, we have Hunter Jenkins. When Hunter grows up, he would like to be a pirate because they are awesome and can be sneaky and stuff, but Hunter will be a nice pirate. In the fall, Hunter will be at Alice Smith Elementary School. Hi, Hunter. Hi. Do you like pirates? Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you go arg for us? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> What would you do if you found $100? I don't know. No, no. Do you want to go to Valley Fair or what do you want? I don't know. You don't know. Well, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Next, we have Jade Johnson. In the fall, Jade will be a third grader at Eisenhower Elementary School. 
the silliest thing that Jade has ever done was keep silly secrets between her and her teacher. Hi, Jade. Hi. I love your dress. It's so pretty. Thank you. What do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. Why? Because I, because I love helping children. Oh, cute. <laughs> Give us your walk. Next, we have Mina Papa. Is that right? Oh, tell me how to say it. Mina Papa. Mina Papa. No. Oh, you tell us. Me. Mina Papa. Okay, thank you. Her favorite subject in school is math because you learn a lot of bunch of other things too. In the fall, she will be a second grader at Alice Smith Elementary School. If you could have breakfast with anyone, who would it be and why? Everyone in the world. <laughs> why? Because I like everyone in the world. Sounds good. Do you want to give us your walk? And that wraps up those four juniors. Well, we have four more young ladies that we would like to see their business outfits. And I think we'll start with Sally Meyer. Sally is excited to be a candidate because she has always heard such great things about the Raspberry Festival and wanted to find out what all the fuss was about. Sally is in a Cassidy Classic floor, floral pan, flare pants in the color coral. This unique eyelet length top of a white seamless scoop is, with a cami is also layered with a two-stitch, two-button jacket in white. Thank you, Sally. Next up, we have Indigo Upton. Indigo wants to be a candidate because she loves being involved in the community, meeting new people, and finding ways to better herself in any way, shape, or form. Indigo has picked this dress out that has an un unlikely designed neckline that curves with a modern interest over a one-of-kind texture. She is carrying a teal cardigan with that. Thank you, Indigo. Next up is Robin Valdez. Robin wants to be a candidate because her sister was crowned as a Raspberry Festival princess and throughout, and though she saw her, was an amazing experience being a candidate can be. This time I'm going to get your outfit right. Robin plans to glam it up the office with a lovely patterned skirt. She paired this skirt with a classic cream blouse tank and a slanted pocket blazer for a work for a work look that commands the room. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Next up, we have Junie Varen. She wants to be a candidate because it would be a great opportunity that will help her obtain important life skills for the future and give her the chance to meet new people and make a difference in the community, what she's eager to do. This this pattern pencil skirt is in coral. This fabric has a luxurious plush look and a feel that can't be beat. This front sleeveless is the perfect top to mix and match what she has with a top stitch two button jacket in tan. Thank you, Junie. Now we're gonna finish up with our five more juniors. We'll start with Nathan Dobbs. When Nathan grows up, he would like to be an artist because he thinks it would be fun. Also, his favorite game to play is basketball because it is fun to play. Hi, Nathan. Hi. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Chocolate. That's a good flavor. That's my flavor, favorite flavor, too. Do you want to give us a smile and wave? Oh, no. Oh. 
I, you know what, and I'm going to need help with this one, Olivia. Hi, my name is Rudra Priya. Rudra Priya. Okay. She's going to be a third grader at Alice Smith Elementary School. Her favorite game to play is basketball. Also, Ruda would like to be a doctor when she grows up. Hi, Rudra Priya. Hi. What do you like to do in your quiet time? Read. That's a good thing. I like reading too. Next up, we have Sim Simon, Simon Eason. Simon. Simon's Simon. favorite thing to do in the summer is to go to Shady Oak Beach because she likes to swim and make castles. Hi, Simone. Hi. I love your dress. It's so pretty. Thank you. What is your favorite restaurant, and what do you like to get there? Mm. Jets pizzas, and I like to get cheese pizza. Yum. <laughs> Want to give us a walk? Next up we have Stella Held. Stella would like to be a tennis player when she grows up to win gold medal. Also the thing she likes best about school is learning new things and she is excited to explore the world. Hi Stella. Hi. I love your headband. Thank you. It matches your dress very, be very well. Thank you. <laughs> what advice would you give to your parents? To eat healthy foods. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Next we have Tula Kelly. Tula's favorite game is Monopoly because you get to go and buy property and get hotels, then beat your brothers. Hi, Tulia. Hi. If you could have any dessert, what would you, what would you want? Ice cream cake. Yum. <laughs> Who would you want to make it for you? My sister. Your sister. Do you love your sister? Yeah. Yeah. Let's invite all the juniors back up on stage and do a little uh, song for us. Oh. Wow, those kids are amazing. What do you think, Olivia? They were so cute.
The next three ladies have done a great job representing the Hopkins Festival, and it's a wonderful city of Hopkins throughout Minnesota. We will start by introducing Princess Mariah Peterson. Yeah. Princess Mariah is wearing a navy and white striped twirly dress. It has a feminine look, perfect for a weekend picnic brunch. She has added a colorful jacket that wears just as easily as a suiting piece or as a lightweight outdoor jacket. Ladies and gentlemen, Princess Mariah Peterson. Now I would like to introduce you to Princess Taylor Wind. Taylor starts out her outfit with a pair of tailored coral shorts. She adds a loose striped tank with a white top stitch two button jacket. This outfit has a professional or a summer suit look. She follows it up with some great bling. Ladies and gentlemen, Princess Taylor Wind. Now it is my great honor to introduce Queen Elijah Carter. Elijah has a printed halter top with a bow on the neckline that adds a sweet charm to this blouse. She has on white pencil pants and a perfect gold stretch bla bracelet. She could pair these with a top stitch two button jacket for a matching suit look. Ladies and gentlemen, Queen Elijah. Let's bring up the whole royal 2013-2014 royal family, as I believe they have a couple of words for this crowd tonight. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. I'm Douglas Derlin, Hopkins Raspberry Festival Senior Current King, and here's me lady. Good evening, everyone. I am the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Senior Queen, Teresa Sidness. Hello, my name is David Rothman. I'm the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Junior Prince, and here's my lovely princess. Thank you, David. Hello, I'm the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Junior Princess Ivy Carr. Hello, I'm the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Junior King and Kane. Here's my lovely Junior Queen. <laughs> Thank you, Aiden. I am the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Junior Queen Logan Nord, and here are the lovely young ladies. Hello, I'm the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Princess, Mariah Peterson, and as a candidate, I was sponsored by the Hopkins Lions Club. Hello everyone, I'm the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Princess, Taylor Wind, and as a candidate, I was sponsored by the Hopkins Elks, and we'd like to thank all of you for coming out tonight in Ridgedale for letting us host this wonderful fashion show. Hello, I'm the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Queen, Elijah Carter, and as a candidate, I was sponsored by Hopkins Health and Wellness, and I want to invite you all to our Young Lady Coronation, which is next Thursday the 17th at 7 p.m. at the Hopkins Center for the Arts. Thank you so much for coming this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you to our royal family. You have done a fabulous job this year. Now, to end our evening, the eight candidates are going to come out with something that describes their personality. Each one will say something about the outfit that they have on. We'll start out with Kia Adams. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Nine one one, what's your emergency? Okay, we'll send a squad out right away. Hello everyone, my name is Kia Adams and I am sponsored by Tuttle's Bowling. Growing up, I was always intrigued by the crime scene investigators in shows such as CSI and Bones that they've inspired me to pursue a career in forensic anthropology. 
During my freshman year at Hamlin University, I interviewed a forensic anthropologist by the name of Susan Meister, and she told me that the greatest thing about her job was that not only is she surrounded by the difficult times of others, but she knows that at the end of her day, she can bring some light and hope to a family in need. With this piece of information, I've learned that being a forensic anthropologist is more than someone who helps solve a case, but is also someone that people can look up to. First of all, I've learned that being a forensic anthropologist means that you have to be a leader. In a majority of my classes, we are put into groups where someone is assigned to be the leader, and their job is to assign tasks to other members, improve group morale, and keep everyone on track. I am proud to say that in every group I was in, I was selected by my peers to be the leader because they knew I was a reliable and dedicated person and could be trusted with our grades. While working in a group, I've also learned how to work on a team and the importance of respecting and listening to my fellow members. Also, as a forensic anthropologist, it is important to have great communication skills. This last spring, I took a public speaking course to better my communication. There are times when you have to present your findings to a jury trial in a way that is clear and a way that everyone can understand. This skill can not, can not only be used as a forensic anthropologist, but can be used in every single day. While pursuing my dream as a forensic anthropologist, I've learned three things that can be used every single day. How to be a leader, how to work as a team, and how to communicate effectively. This case is now closed. Thank you. Next up, we have Alyssa Hornbuckle. Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa Hornbuckle. I'm sponsored by Driscoll's Foods. My person personality outfit tonight is my work outfit for Michaels. Michaels has helped me grow as a person. It has taught me to be more outgoing and social with new people and in different situations. It has also taught me to be a leader because I do kids or crafts with kids. <laughs> Um, in our store through this program called Kids Club, I tend to help 5 to 15 kids at a time doing crafts, for example, perler beads, and if anyone knows about perler beads, you know it's not that easy to do. Working at Michael's has improved my personality, and it brings out the inner kid in me, and I love that. Thank you. Next up, we have Ashling Huras. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ashley Harris, and I am sponsored by Hopkins Auto Body. The gift of sight. Many of us take this gift for granted. Lens Crafters One Sight Foundation is a foundation that gives this gift globally every single day. Lens Crafters One Sight, we do this by sustainably recycling donated glasses and donating them to children in our local community. The most rewarding experience that I have had while working with one site at, at this location in the Ridgedale Mall is when I had the opportunity to dispense a pair of glasses to a 15 year old boy who had never had the chance to have glasses before. The second he put them on his face he instantly started crying because not only could he see across the mall he could see the front of the classroom but most importantly his parents face. I hope to continue to work with this wonderful organization in the future because they have shown me what it's like to be to what it's like to see volunteerism in real life. Thank you. Thank you, Ashling. Next up, we have McKenna Mo. Hi, my name is McKenna Mo and I'm sponsored by Citizens Independent Bank. Today I'm wearing my Hopkins lacrosse penny and my true lacrosse skirt to represent both of the teams I play for. I've been playing lacrosse for the past six years and in the past six years I've grown not only as a player but as a leader. I was recently elected one of the two captains for the 2015 season, putting me in a position for girls to look up to me and seek advice out of. While playing for True, which is an elite team that goes to the summer and fall, I was offered various travel opportunities to play at different tournaments throughout the states of Colorado and Illinois, which have put, given me multiple chances to be scouted by multiple colleges throughout the United States and play at a higher level of lacrosse. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for all the opportunities that my dedication and love for the sport have brought me and that is why I chose to wear this outfit today. Thank you. Thank you, McKenna. Next up, we have Sally Meyer. 
Good evening, my name is Sally Meyer and I am sponsored by the Main Street Foundation. As you can see, I am rocking some lovely scrubs tonight. I am wearing them not only because they are probably one of the most comfiest things you will ever put on, but they also represent my passion and my future career path. When I was born, I was born with some very serious complications and spent the first month of my life in Children's Hospital, Minneapolis. After this traumatic start to my life, all I can remember growing up is my parents raving about how great the nurses were throughout the whole experience and how, how great they were throughout the whole experience and how it really took a special person to be called to that path. So when it came time to make my college decision and decide what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, nursing was a no-brainer. Today I currently attend St. Olaf College in Northfield, Minnesota and will be starting my senior year and final year in the nursing program this fall and I couldn't be prouder to be an Ole. Throughout the nursing program thus far, I've been blessed with so many opportunities and experiences to broaden my horizons in nursing. The nursing program is unique in that we get to travel to different hospitals and get in the field clinical experiences to get in the field clinical experiences and get and hands-on and experiences and learn how it feels to be a nurse even if just for a few hours twice a week. I've learned so much through the nursing program and I can't imagine a field any other field. It has been a journey that has been 21 years in the making and I have learned so much. I have learned that I have learned to be confident in myself and my abilities and to have a sense of self-worth. I have learned to how to communicate with both my coworkers and my patients. In the future, I would love to be a, a registered nurse in either labor and delivery or the NICU. I believe that the beginning of life is such a beautiful thing and to be able to help that process happen as a nurse is such an honor. I can also say firsthand, after being there for the birth of my niece two months ago, that there isn't anything quite as beautiful as a newborn baby, especially and most importantly the look on the parents face when they first see their newborn baby. The coolest thing though I have learned through nursing is that no matter if you are helping someone to be born, helping them die, or all the wonderful, heartbreaking craziness that's in between, there is beauty at every stage of life. And no matter, there's beauty at every stage of life. And through my clinicals, I have learned that I would be happy to end up in any area of nursing. And the, be, the ability to move throughout those different areas in nursing is a very unique aspect of nursing that I love. So thank you very much, and go nurses. And you never know when I might be giving you your flu shot, so watch out. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. Next we have Indigo Upton. Hi, my name is Indigo Upton. I'm sponsored by the Heartstrings Bridal. I just want to thank everybody for coming out and giving me the opportunity to share my passion for music with you guys. Tell my mom smiles. If I told you any more, it'd take a while. So I wrote you this song, and I'm playing it for you. I like to play guitar and sing loud in my car, but only when I'm by myself. I like long walks on the beach, snowflakes on my cheek, and if anyone asks you, I'm the funniest person they've ever met. I laugh at all my jokes, and yet they don't, not sure why. Did I mention I've got a passion for music? It makes my heart Skip, 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 skip a beat Got me smiling from cheek to cheek I can feel it from my lashes to my feet 
I developed it a few years back when I wanted to figure out my path. Sing in front of clouds a hundred times the size of you. I found my love now. I found my love now. My love now. My love now. Once again, thank you guys for letting me share my passion with you. And thank you to Nick for helping set up this evening. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Indigo. Next up, we have Robin Valdez. Hi, everyone. My name is Robin Valdez and I'm sponsored by American Legion Post 320. For my personality outfit, I've chosen to wear my Hopkins track and field uniform because I love to run. My events are the 100 meter hurdles, 300 meter hurdles, and the 100 meter sprints. Throughout my track career, I've learned so much from my fellow athletes and my coaches. I've learned perseverance, strength, courage, and most importantly, bravery. Off the track, I love to run the many trails that go through Hopkins. My favorite is when you go out for a morning run and the air is crisp and the sun is rising behind you. There's no better feeling than running because of the great endorphins that it gives you and the happy, healthy life that it brings. And without it, I would not be here today. Thank you all. Thank you, Robin. Next up, we have Juni Varen. Hello everybody, my name is Junie Varen and I'm sponsored by Hopkins Elks. I'm wearing my gymnastics uniform today because gymnastics has changed my life significantly. Each and every year, gymnastics makes me a better person. I started out doing gymnastics because I always loved watching Olympians compete and I wanted to be like that one day. So I started off recreationally at um, Minnetonka High School doing MAGA and soon after that, I made the varsity team at Hopkins High School. A few years later, I was made captain, and this upcoming year will be my second year being captain and my final year on the team. I love gymnastics and everything it's given me, and through my, cap my time of being captain, I have learned a lot of new things, including it has strengthened my ability to become a better leader, um, I recently got a job of being a gymnastics coach and my coaching has made me become more responsible and a better person and better team worker. Thank you. Thank you, Junie. Oh, I see. Thank you to all our young ladies. I think they want to come up one more time and give a final wave. Hello everyone, my name is Kia Adams and I'm sponsored by Tuttle's Bowling and I would like to thank Ridgedale for allowing us to be here tonight. Hello, my name is Alyssa Hornbuckle. I'm sponsored by Driscoll's Foods. I wanted to thank Diana Doctor and Olivia Gallagher for being the MCs tonight. Good evening everybody and thank you for coming out tonight. My name is Ashling Harris and I am sponsored by Hopkins Auto Body and I'd like to thank The Limited for donating the clothes for the fashion show tonight. Hi, my name is McKenna Moe and I'm sponsored by Citizens Independent Bank and like, I'd like to thank Macy's and Sephora for doing our hair and makeup tonight. Thank you. Good evening everyone. Thanks for coming out. My name is Sally Meyer and I'm sponsored by the Main Street Foundation and I would like to thank Jeff for the sound. Hi everyone. My name is Indigo Upton. I just want to thank Nick for helping set up this event and my sponsor is Heartstrings Bridal. Hi everyone, my name is Robin Valdez and my sponsor is American Legion Post 320 and I'd like to thank Charlie for filming this event tonight. Thanks. Hello everyone, I'm Junie Varen and my sponsor is Hopkins Elks and I would just like to thank everyone for being here today. Thank you ladies. Thank you to our eight wonderful candidates. Good luck to all of you. Let's just have another round of applause for all eight candidates, the juniors, and the royal family. Please join us.
Saturday, July 12th through July 20th with many events that the Hopkins Raspberry Festival has to offer. Thank you and good night.